so um, something that you're going to need to know and how to edit is how to use titles. Uh, titles are used to basically give information that may not occur naturally or it may save you time um, when uh, you know instead of having to explain something maybe might be titled on time just a location super or the na someone's name and how they're related to the subject or uh, sometimes you may see in movies before the movie actually starts they'll have a black background white words and it'll tell you, you know, some of the uh, the backstory of what's happening before you actually get into the movie. So, uh, titles does all of that. So, in Final Cut Pro, uh, when you you know at your normal screen in the upper left, uh, you'll see this tiny little T thing, and uh, also kind of like the thing behind it is like a little countdown thing. So this is for uh, your titles, and this is also for other graphics things that you can. Uh, make like animated backgrounds for Final Cut. So, yes. Okay, double click on your sequence little icon and, you, and it'll pop up. There you go. Okay. All right, so uh, what was I? And you, it doesn't matter what video you have uh, on the timeline, anyone will be fine. So um, you see that little T at the uh, upper left? All right, go ahead, click on that. All right, now uh, you're gonna have some options. So you have titles and you have generators. Uh, you see that? Mm -hmm. So click on the little drop down thing for titles and we're gonna go to the one that says lower thirds. And when you, yeah, click on lower thirds once you get there. Okay, so this is gonna be one of the most common things that you use. Um, now, something that's kind of nice about this is you can, um, preview your lower thirds just by like clicking on it and if you uh, some of them you know move over time uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what they do so like if you look at like say loose leaf um, you, you see that it moves a little bit and organic you know has a little animation or whatever that you know when it comes up so uh, what I would like for you to do is select uh, well, I'm gonna keep it standard. Uh, let's go with uh, formal or you know uh, gradient. Okay, you see the one that says gradient. Mm -hmm. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to click on it and hold, and I want you to drag it above the um, the the whatever video clip you have. We're not trying to cover the uh, video clip like you know where we can't see it, but just have it like hovering over the video clip and then just let it go and let's see yep there we go you, that, that is correct so uh anywhere is fine so um now something i want to introduce you to is called a thing called the inspector window so your inspector window is over to the far um to the far right in the upper this upper area so if you don't have anything to you know inspect, then it'll say you know it has nothing to inspect. So actually, uh, well, yes, and actually, even if uh, I think if you just have the cursor, yeah, yes. So yeah, to put it, the easiest way to say that is yes. But also, it'll pop up even if it's not clicked, but it may not be as selective. Hold on. Yeah. Nope, I was wrong. It does not do that. So yeah, you have to click on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, now, if you don't have your inspection window, say, I don't know, you pop up, you know, you're in the computer and uh, I don't know, maybe somebody changed some settings. So yours might look kind of like this. Uh, you, you see, I don't have my inspector window anymore. The icon for it is in the upper right and it has like some lines and like some little slider things. So you press that and you've got your inspector window. And uh, you're gonna be using pretty much for the rest of the class this semester, you're gonna be, you know, getting a lot more familiar with the inspector window. Is so Yeah, it, it it may look different just because certain things uh, one if it's um, if you are clicked on say the video it may look different uh, like say for video we have options 
say this is for audio and this is for, I forgot what this is for, color correction and this is for video and this is for info, okay? But if I click on say the uh, gradient one, up here you see it looks different. Also I don't have a little icon for audio because you know there's no sound with um, with my lower with my lower third so it also kind of depends on what you what you've clicked on and also some of these things um, you know they may or may not show or, or it may be minimized because like this one that says uh, distort I can say hide it and you know it's gonna make mine look different uh, it's gonna make my inspector window look different from yours so it's pretty common for two people to go into the inspector window and it looks different uh, what was that? Oh, so uh, the thing I wanted to show you with the inspector window. So I'm gonna double click uh, on my uh, my what do you call it? My uh, lower third. And when I do, and I'll wait for you to, to double click on the lower third. What I'm gonna see is you should see some text over in the far uh, far upper right. So mine had originally highlighted the word name. So uh, yours will probably say the same thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click, well, on this little uh, thing that says name, and you know I'm gonna change it to, I don't know, um, we'll call this person Joel, okay? And I just, I just type that in. Oh. Oh, I see you, you, you have it. Oh, you already did that. Okay. So uh, now if I want to go to the next uh, part of it, I can just click where is it? on uh, where it says description in the window. I just went ahead and clicked on it. And then uh, in the inspector window, uh, the word description pops up. So that means now I can change that. And I can just say, uh, I don't know, student. Sure. So, and if you want, if you press enter, it's just gonna go down. But uh, if you want to like get away, get off of it, you gotta click on something else, or you just gotta click away from it. So that way, you know, you're not constantly, you know, in a constant state of, you know, am I editing this? So. Uh, there's some options. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it, but uh, just for your text, uh, let's just say like, um, uh, what do I want to change? Uh, I remember the one for his first size. Oh, wait, wait, that's just it. Uh, I've got font. What? I'm forgetting how to do it through here. Okay, I have space lines. Hold on. Give me just a second. Let me click back on this. Okay. So uh, if I click on you know the top word that the name, then and then I go up to line one size. I click and I can drag and I can adjust the uh, you know the size of the uh, you know the font. Uh, also, if I want it to be like uh, if I, uh, centered or let's just say we have multiple lines for the line spacing it may uh, if I had say two things I'll say Joel and then uh, I don't know uh, guest and if I needed uh, more space between those two words I can just click on let's see oh, it didn't do it I was gonna say click on the line spacing hold on tracking does left and right or and some of them is called kerning but line spacing should have done it anyway I'm gonna get rid of that guessing so it doesn't look so bad but uh and let me adjust the tracking you don't need to wait. okay that looks better uh, so if I wanted to adjust it through here uh, and there's other things that I can do I can adjust the rotation of the letters um, Maybe it's baseline. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I, I can make those adjustments. But also, if, if you don't want to deal with the inspector window, you can do it another way. And it's, it's a little bit more direct. So 
Uh, you can follow me if you want, or just watch. Um, I'll get uh, gradient again, and I'm just gonna drag it down. And this, t and I I'm gonna double click kind of like before, but I can actually go onto the uh, the screen, and I'll just say Robert this time, and I'll say I don't know, uh, manager. So I can do it that way if I want to, and then I'll just click away from it. If that's easier for you, then you can do that. Also, oh, I kind of, yeah, I'm already on the spectrum window and on a program window. Okay, so uh, if I needed to make some adjustments, I can actually just click on it and adjust it without having to uh, go through the inspector window. Like in the inspector window, you do have that options. Oh, uh, there's some things that I didn't tell you about the inspector window. Um, if I needed to say adjust the line color, I don't know if you noticed, I clicked on this little T here. Uh, show, so this is for t title inspector. This is for, uh, I guess, more for text. This is more for video. So if I needed to um, position, uh, I don't know, uh, let's see. Maybe if I needed to move the bar over, then my X uh, coordinates do that. Um, this is for color, but this this image is in black and white, so uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk more about color at, at some other time. But um, anyway, uh, so I have those options as well. So just the one that pops up when you double click, that's not the what's it the end all be all uh, for what you can do with your uh, with that video. So oh, uh, back to um, yeah, oh, do, doing the stuff on on the screen. So. Uh, yes, I can actually just click, hold, and move stuff around, and I think I can also adjust the size. Let's see. Uh, no, I can't adjust the size, just the, uh, just the position. But if I wanted to do it that way, then, you know, I could. Uh, what else? And right now I'm just trying to have it basic, but we'll do more inspector window stuff uh, later on. Uh, so, moving on to... Uh, basic text so right now what I went over with you is lower is the uh, lower third now the the, the reason why I uh, want to move on to the basic text is because sometimes you aren't uh, you're not putting something over somebody's face you may just need some graphics to pop up uh, I'm gonna grab another piece of video just to uh, have something let's see well I'll I think I'm going to import something else. Uh, you don't have to. I'm just going to do that. I mean, yeah, if you got, you know, two clips, that's pretty much all you need. But uh, I was thinking of something where the, the text might show a little bit better, and I didn't want to keep doing black and white. Uh, I've read file footage, librarian interview. Uh... taking too long to decide all right I'll, I'll go with this one um, and make sure it goes to lesson one so yeah uh, I'm just gonna pick this one just because I wanted something else all right so I'm gonna drag this down to my to my video sorry uh, to my timeline and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some uh, some text just right in the middle of the screen okay so a way that I can do that is I go to my text and I'm trying to think what was it? Uh, I think it was, was it build build in and out? And I think where is it? I think it's called basic. Uh, let's see. Bar fade in. Out. Fade fade fade. Sorry. Basic 3D, no, that's not what I want. I'm a little rusty, I guess. Um, okay. I guess, oh, uh, I guess, cut, sorry. 
Uh, I need to change the name of that instead of um, basic text. Uh, okay, so the one that we're looking for under build in and out is the one that says custom. So, man, I wish I'd put that. So, I guess if I had, you know, had it step by step, I say go to titles, go to build in and out, go to custom, and once you have, once you you see the one that says custom. Mm -hmm. All right, so all I want you to do is to click and drag that on over some uh, video that you have on your timeline. Preferably, you know, not over something that already has, you know, a lower third there. <laughs> And so y you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And uh, here, oh, well, I noticed you. I noticed you, it's, it's right in the middle of that black and white, but we we can adjust that. So, uh. Here's something that you can do to make your image look a little bit better. Cause I see it, you know, I I basically can't see it cause cause of his hand and you know on your video. So here's something that you can do to make things a little bit better for you. So uh, you looking? So I'm, this is kind of getting ahead of us, but I clicked on this and I'm in the inspector window and then I'm over in my color. Hold on. I'm over in my color and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it darker. Because that should help. Hold on. Color. Oh, sorry. Expo. So I'm gonna click on exposure, and I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker. So, if you do that on yours, you'll be able you'll be able to see uh, your text a little bit better. So you just double click and make sure yeah exposure. Drag it down. So that should probably help you. Uh, that should help you see uh, what you're typing a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna get back to this now. All right, so uh, once you have title, you should see you should see it in the middle of your screen. So let's go, go ahead and double click on that. And once you do, uh, right now my inspector is trying to do some color stuff, but I don't need that. So let's just say um, I don't know. Uh, I'll just put today's date. Oh, dang it, I messed up. Oh, let me get that back. So, uh, September 15, comma, two, zero, one. And uh, I'll just type underneath that, I'll type uh, computer editing. And uh, I'll go one more line. Um, I don't know, UAPB. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see what you're talking about. Okay, oh, uh, you hold down the command key and press Z. So command key's right next to the. So, uh, where was I? Uh, oh, so th this could be pretty much anything. You can adjust it to, I don't know, uh, this could be, I don't know, maybe a picture with somebody's, uh, you know, name and title underneath it. It could be uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a pro and con list if you wanted to have that in, in a video. Um, if you want to adjust this, it's, it's you know not that bad. You you can change the alignment so it doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be centered. So if you just highlight that and then just press this, then you know you can adjust how that looks. And uh, some of the same things with the um, with the lower third. Uh, if you need to adjust, I don't know, say the font, then you can do that. So there's um. Yeah, you can do a lot of things with it, which is kind of why I suggest uh, custom. I mean, the other stuff is over here is pretty much drag and drop. 
and uh, you can tweak it, but sometimes you may, you may just want something simple or you, you want it to be a specific way or maybe you want the words to pop up at a certain, a specific part of the screen. So that's why I say, you know, you can go with a uh, custom and if you need to move it around, hold on. Uh, come on all right you need to move it around kind of like with the uh, lower third you can just do it on screen or if you need to if you you know if you don't like it that way then you can click on the little video icon and where it says position you can just do you know the X you know adjust the X and Y coordinates to move it um, to move to move it up and down if, if you if you need to do that so uh, let's see Okay, so that's uh, text, uh, basic text uh, with background video. That's what we just did. So, and I'll just, you know, play it and so you can see. All right, video's playing and we have, you know, text that appears during the video. I'll play it one more time and I'll adjust the length of it. Eh, all right. So that's that if that's what we wanted. So next thing, uh, full screen uh, graphics with uh, background image. So we want uh, what we want is we want an animated background and we want some text to go over that animated background. So the way we get to that animated background is we were in the text button and we were in titles. Now we're going to go into generators. So you just click the little drop down thing, and you could either go with uh, backgrounds. These are uh, animated backgrounds. They they move and you know fluctuate and all that kind of stuff. Or you could go with uh, textures. So, but I think I'm, uh, background image. Yeah, you can go if you want to do an animated background or you want to do one of these background textures. Then either one, it's your call for um, yeah. Because kind of getting into your homework, you're, you're going to be doing this again. But uh, yeah, just pick whichever one you like. And um, I usually like the backgrounds, and uh, I'm trying to think of one that I ha haven't used before in class. I'm gonna go with this. I think I'm gonna go with the. Oh my goodness! No, I'm not doing that. You know what? I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with pages. So I see you got like the underwater aqua thing. That's cool. Uh, but I'm gonna go with pages. So I'm gonna click and hold and just drag it down to my timeline just like it's another piece of video. Alright. Uh, it, it can be wherever you put it because this is just you, you know, doing, you know, following along however you follow along. So as long as you're doing it, I don't care, if, you know, which background you use or where it's located just as long as you, you know, basically, you know, did it. Uh, what was that? Okay, so yeah, you can press play and you know, you'll see your your thing, you know, move around and do whatever you want it to do. Uh, let me minimize my screen. All right. So, uh now what we're going to do uh and we're going to do the same thing we did before. Uh we're going to put some text on it and this is going to be very similar to part of your homework. Um so build in and out go to custom where it says title just slide that down and just um, type something uh, I'm gonna type uh, this is called the comic book background so I, I clicked on my, my uh, thing make sure this little I don't know these little lines of type lettering I think that that's what the icon is so and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna type uh, this is called the comic book uh, background so anyway and now I have that text uh, over that uh, animated background so all right so that's uh, that's the lesson uh, for today now let's get to your homework so for your homework uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete uh, this stuff from the timeline and so 
I'd, well, I'd suggest you uh, look at me uh, when I do this, because I'm, I'm basically gonna, I'm basically going to do the homework assignment right now in front of you. But you're going to do it without any help from me, and you know, turn it in. So, uh, so what I want is a lower third with your name, uh, preferably over video. So, uh, grab a piece of video. I, I don't care what it is, and um, you, you're not going to need like say. I don't know what is this 35 seconds you're not gonna need 35 seconds if you you know I don't know but no more than 10 seconds if that much and uh, yeah just a, enough time for it to pop up so I'm gonna have some uh, gonna have an image we're gonna go to lower thirds uh, I'll, and for your uh, homework you can use whatever lower third thing you want to pick so I don't know I'll go with uh, or uh, I don't know. I'll go with overlap this time and so for this only thing I care about for the lower third is make sure you have your name in it so anything else you want to put that's fine so and uh, I think for description I'm just gonna say example all right so that's one part of your homework so just having just having this okay and uh what <clears throat> what else okay next thing i'm probably I'm probably gonna make that shorter because that, that that just seems like long oh uh, maybe i'll just make that i don't know about yeah somewhere around five seconds is good and then after that, what I'm going to do is I want a uh, full screen graphic. So what I want is an animated background. Man, I know I had a more descriptive version of this, but anyway. Uh, so just uh, take a background, doesn't matter which one. And we're going to go with the uh, that uh, we call it the custom or under build in and out drag that down well, let me align this better and then what you're going to do is you're going to type some things like the assignment name so this is called the uh, text assignment so and student name I'll just use my name and assignment due date is September uh, uh, was the uh, 22nd okay so once you have that you don't have to fade it to black or anything and just basically export this um, and of course call the title you know call your homework I don't know Gia text assignment and um, you know basically that's it so you definitely have to have have to have your name and you know and you know this and in future assignments I'll be requiring you on the on the in the video to have your name and the name of the assignment so it just makes it easier and you know build on the stuff that we learned so last week we did exporting now we're doing exporting with you know text in your video so and uh yeah that's 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 pretty much it you remember i'm sure you remember how to export um uh share or something yep it, oh yeah but i remember on that computer is it's it's funky i think it's uh i think on 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 your specific computer i think it says like export right yeah, yours is weird. Now. Yeah. But yeah, that, that, other than that, the rest of the steps are the same. So. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for today. So, you got any questions or anything? Um, no. Oh, so anytime I follow along in class, I don't have to save it. Um, uh, yeah, you don't. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
long as I know that you're following along with me, I'm, 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 I'm happy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording now.